Hi, I'm Mitch Reed, and my vlog this week is on tunes, the same tune played differently. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start with a tune. This is called the Dura Waltz, and it was made famous by Irie Lejean. And then um, through my good friend Chad Huval, he sent me a version of Wade Fruge playing the same waltz, um, calling it something different. I um, can't remember what it was called, but um, I thought it would be fun today just to talk about how really there's a lot of tunes that are played differently by different people. Um, sometimes they're called the same and sometimes they're, they have different names. Um, sometimes they can be altogether different tunes, but um, if just maybe one part of um, the tune, one phrase or something, it's a little different than it's usually... I just usually refer to that as a, a different variation, so it's pretty much the same tune. So um, I've got some questions about this, so uh, I thought this would be maybe fun to talk a little bit about it. I mean, um, you kind of just have to use your own common sense with figuring out if a tune is the same, uh, even though it has a different name. Um, and then the more familiar you get with Cajun fiddle music and Creole fiddle music, the, the better you'll get at that and the easier it'll be. So, um, so we'll start with this one. So this is the Dura Waltz. I'll play it the way um, Irie played it and then I'll play it Wade Fruget's version. So this is Irie Lejean. <laughs> tune recorded by Ira Lejean, uh, just played on fiddle, no accordion at all, and uh, so definitely check that out. Um, usually, I, you know, when I come across a tune and you hear one version from one person and another version from another musician, um, I usually think that the one that's the older version um, is a tune that has more than one part. So if the tune has an extra part or, you know, uh, maybe the popular version only had one part, but the um, another version you come across maybe two or three parts. I usually tend to think that the one with multiple parts is older and that what happened along the way is they just forgot some of the parts and they weren't passed on and played. So that's just me. That's my theory. But um, So I'll play the Wade Fruge version. So we'll just call this Wade's Waltz. I think there's a bunch of Wade's Waltzes, but he was a great player from Tasso, Louisiana. And um, I used to go jam with him at his house and always had different, really different versions, uh, different sounding versions of what we would call standard tunes. But the way he played it, he, it was very, he would always have a part that was very different. So... All right, so same thing basically as the Dura Waltz, but the way Wade Fruget played it, so.
in that one, uh, Wade played a B part, which was really cool. So he played that low, um, uh, played a double stop there. <laughs> Same melody really, but just with that double stop kind of giving it a, a different variation there. Um, so that's pretty cool. So thanks to Chad Huval, I discovered that version of that tune. So let's take one more and um, I'd like to talk about this one. This is a great tune um, that I always thought was so unique, uh, only played by Can Ray Fontenot. And the only person who, who, you know, at the time alive knew the tune, which was, uh, it's called the Old Carpenter's Waltz. Um, but then later on through Michael Ducey, I found out that Dennis McGee had learned an old waltz from Sadie Corville's uh, family. Uh, his, his, Sadie Corville's father and his uncle were great uh, fiddle players. And uh, they were known as the Corville Brothers and they played old contradances and mazurkas way before um, the, you know, the recording equipment came around, the recording technology of 78s came around. So, all right, so I'm gonna play that. Now I'll play the Old Carpenter's Canary's version, and then I'll play a waltz called La Vos de Sevilla, which is uh, the same tune, but different. <laughs> okay, so it goes like this. sister and it goes like this So uh, that one, I, I would guess, would be an older version uh, compared to the old Carpenter's Waltz. But who knows? So <laughs> it's just fun to talk about it and think about it. So I guess my point for this vlog is that uh, don't be surprised when you come across tunes that really are the same tune but called different things. Um, or the other scenario is when you might learn a tune from a player or go jam with a friend or somebody who knows a tune and maybe learn it from them or whatever and then 
couple of weeks later go jam with somebody else and they play it a little different. Um, and that's okay. And there's a lot of that out there and it's kind of fun. Um, it doesn't mean write a new song or play a new song or play it the way you want to play it. <laughs> Um, you definitely want to learn the melody the right way, but um, I think it's just important to just use, uh, you know, respected sources of the tunes, you know, whether it be field recordings or, or, uh, or records that have come out. So anyway, um, if you like those tunes, though, let me know uh, if you're a member of my website, uh, mitreadmusiclessons.com. Send me a line if you like those tunes. I can break them down um, if you would like to learn them. And you can join my, my uh, website. You can join for a day or you can join for a week or a year, whatever you want to do. So thanks so much for joining me today. Um, keep on fiddling, stay inspired, and hope to see you out there soon. Thank you.